James Sargison versus Junior Crispin. James with the blue shorts on. Crispin, slightly longer hair. <laughs> Only slightly. I think that's a, what's that, a number zero versus a number one? I think so. <laughs> Boys exchanging some clubs. Interesting some match. aggressive collar ties. Sorry, yeah. you go, mate. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, interesting match because Junior's uh, well known as a gi competitor. So uh, it, it's interesting last minute to take this no gi match. It's also I'd interesting as James is chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> that might be his mouth guard. No, I think it's some gum. <laughs> I'm, fairly, right. I'm fairly certain he trains with gum in his mouth too. He's a casual character. Yeah. I like James, but he's a different different sort of individual. He is, man. He's he's good quality. I get to do, uh, train striking with him. I help him out with his strike. Oh, that was a beautiful shot straight into his double there. But 100% putting pressure on James. That was under the chin. He's yeah. closed up guard. We can't see from this angle whether he's got... So I think he's around the neck, but James is doing a good job keeping his shoulder pressed into uh, Junior's sternum, so it makes it difficult for him to get his hands high. Like, you know, any any sort of uh, front strangle like that, you need high hands. Yeah, exactly, and that's what saved him. Okay, so... Good work from James here. He's got nice, strong posture, which makes it much easier when he starts going in to open, uh, open his partner's guard. Junior there trying to break that posture you, you were just alluding to. Yeah, and I think at a certain point when you gain a certain amount of height inside of a closed guard, there's not really much point trying to hold onto it. And Junior recognizes that. He's an experienced guard player. Let's go straight away. 100%. Well... Like a lot of leg locks are free, especially in this no-gi format. Go for it. Open that guard. Attack the legs. Nice sprawl from James. After the shot by Junior. Ooh. Goes to take the back. Can't quite get the angle. So he's got a crucifix locked up there, which is... Not quite the back, but you can do a lot with it there because it means that your legs occupy your partner's other arm. So it makes it very, very difficult for them to defend strangles because you create this situation here where you've got a, you know, one arm tying up their other arm, your legs tying up their, their other defensive arm, and so you can start punching strangles around the neck there. Switches straight into a guillotine off that. That's on. Can't control the hips, but he had that. He yeah. had that under the chin. Yeah, under the chin. But Junior does a good job positioning himself on the other side of James's body. Absolutely, makes it very, very difficult from those low wrist positions to finish the guillotine. <laughs> Both boys just <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> They've both had their shot at a guillotine now. Junior pulls guard. And again, James tying up on the inside here, but Junior's doing a good job keeping his posture broken there with that collar tie. He's ready now for James to start standing up, and he's looking to start mm. scooping that leg there. So that way he's getting ready to go to the next thing. That said, though, he's climbing his legs up nice and high, which is, again, going to put weight over James's neck and shoulders, making it difficult for him to get that posture mm. that he needs. Good from, job from James there, bringing that knee up the middle. Makes it difficult now for, for Junior to connect his uh, his legs around James's shoulders. And then we have the close guards now opened. Oh, snap to the triangle there. Good defense from James.
Nice pressure on the pass from Jones, but Junior's having none of it. I wouldn't be surprised here as Junior starts giving like pushback reactions to James that uh, yeah, go. James is going to fall straight back into leg locks here. Strong frames there by Junior. And he's almost got a leg entanglement of his own. I mean, mm. essentially, he's got like a saddle locked up there, but uh, James's knee is just barely free from the knee line. I know training mainly in the gi. I'm not sure how experienced uh, Junior is with attacking heel hooks from a lot of these positions. I got a little bit excited when they came back up to the feet again because each time we've seen a shot and nearly a guillotine. Yeah, it's... Something good's happened when they've both come back up to their feet. And both lightning fast setups on their takedowns and their, their, their strangles. Quick close guard jump. I believe under this rule set, that's actually a um, uh, minor penalty for... Virginia and he's done two of them so that's far. I yeah, think if he does I it a third time, I think that's a disqualification. Uh, yeah, it's got to be a consideration. Under this format and otherwise, it's got to be a consideration. It's a pretty interesting position Virginia's put himself in. Definitely killing the posture of James, but it doesn't look like he can mount any significant offense from here. Not yet, anyway. Climbing his way up into uh, more like a rubber guard here, which is interesting because uh, we've had we, we've got three Tenth Planet competitors on the card tonight, notorious for their their high guards. Three minutes remaining here. So, Jake, how are you scoring this so far? Oh, it's so difficult. I was just running that through my mind. It's so technical. It depends. Again, it goes back to what you're looking at. James has spent a lot of his time on top. I mean, do you count the two guard pulls that Junior's done? I mean, do you take mm. into context what's happened after it? Because a lot of the time it's been James has been pushing the pressure. I'm tilting towards James. He got the ladder guillotine. Junior's was a little bit earlier on with his guillotine attempt. I mean, yeah. How are your sentiments? Yeah, so it's hard to say because when you talk about guard, generally speaking, it's considered a neutral position. But when you put your punter in close guard, I, I personally would consider that quite a dominant position, at like specifically in a grappling context. Mm. Just because you have the ability just to attack their entire upper body with your whole body. Crowd's getting into it. I think, yeah, th I think that's where context has to come into it because the few times, well, the two times Junior's pulled guard, we didn't see a lot of offense from him. It was mostly James taking it away, but you raise a really good point. In this format, who knows? I'm glad I'm not scoring. James controlling the ankles, gives his own away. So he's doing a good job here, keeping his right leg on the inside. Just prevents uh, those back take opportunities from mm, James. Right. And I, th I think just coming from the academy, Junior is so aware of uh, just like taking the back and just where it's physically possible from. Now, to your point, I haven't seen a lot of back exposure from him. He's constantly, even when he's, he's fighting it from his back, he's given up guard while James is passing. It's never really been an opportunity. He's keeping James honest with his own own leg entanglement attempts. I think just training under Talos and Suarez, he's just hyper aware of all those situations um, where, where he can get his back taken from. James gone in on his own inside heel hook here. He's, uh... You see Junior straining, straining there. James is holding on to his. He's definitely got his hand under, but you can see the and pressure coming off the ankle. Oh, wow. fantastic escape there. 
While I think that was a tight grip, I actually don't know if there was a ton of pressure in that heel hook. I such. agree. I agree. I think he was under the ankle, but we saw it as the ankle was able to turn. Where somebody's got it really deep and able to talk it, you yeah. can't bring that heel back. Especially in situations like that where... Whoop. Brilliant match. If I had to describe it in one word, technical. Yeah. That was insane. That was such a good no-game match. Two highly dangerous, highly technical uh, competitors. The, 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 the dynamic was constant. It was a back and forth one. They never really slowed down. They didn't get too out of control to where it wasn't technical anymore. I thought that was a lot of fun. I'm glad I'm not scoring it. Yeah, that's super difficult to score. I really think they could have gone either way. Yeah, I agree. It could have been that late minute submission. I think it looked a little bit worse than it was. It was pretty deep. It was pretty deep. I don't think Junior was in, in any significant trouble, but maybe to the judges it looked like aggression, looked like James trying to push the action. And so it's a hard call to make because I would say James had, you know, more uh, deeper submission attempts while Junior was at least like looking to enter in on a lot more. Like, you know, we saw a lot of those like uh, jumps to the triangles. Actually, he snapped for them quite a few times. And there was that crucifix and this position. Might have, yeah, and this might have been the only sort of solidified dominant position throughout the whole match. I agree. I agree. It, it was in flux, a lot of it. A lot of it was in flux. I mean, you almost called it as well in that push-pull position where they were jockeying for position. As soon as that pressure came and James sat back and took the ankle. And I think that's the... It, so, you know, when majority of leg lock opportunities come from control in the inside space and you make that decision to pass on the inside, it means at all times you have that opportunity to both pass the guard as well as attack your partner's legs there. And really... Yep you can just work with whatever your opponent's uh, giving you then. Like if they're, they're contracting, they're, they're pulling everything in towards their body, then you go forward into the pass. If they're pushing away and they're extending their legs, then you, then you go in on the legs. Right. 